Can I tell you a secret? Over the last two years, I've manifested my dream career, I quit my job, met my dream girl, traveled all around the world, and many more cool things. And you know what? Most things haven't worked for me, like the normal law of attraction stuff I've tried of like meditating, vision board, affirmations, you fill in the blanks. These things haven't worked for me, very frustrating, and they probably also haven't worked for you. But there is one thing that did finally work for me, and it's a powerful technique, and I'm going to share this with you in the video so you can actually start manifesting your dreams. This probably will give you a breakthrough, the breakthrough you need to start manifesting what you want. Let's dive right into it. If you don't know me, my name is Oliver Hoyas and I'm a master manifester, artist and I manifested a lot of cool stuff, living my dream life right now and inspiring others to do the same. So what's the thing that actually worked for me? So you see, before I met this guy, there were like many, many other teachers that taught about the law of attraction, even the secret movie and I've been very deep into it already but it haven't worked. But then I met the guy who talked about law of assumption. You probably already know who that is. And this guy, Neville Goddard, he talked about the law of assumption. And when I finally heard that, I was like, wow. And the way he explained it was for me, just it made a switch in my mind. So let's talk about the law of assumption and how I used it and my understanding of it. Because there are a lot of people that talk about it, but they don't really understand how it works. So the law of assumption, what it really is, is instead of the law of attraction, like thinking that things come to you and you're attracting things and you are a magnet to things, which is also great and it also works. The law of assumption says you're assuming you're all, you are already who you wanna be and what you wanna have, right? You are like literally what you want. You are what you want, right? There is no separation from you and that thing, or from you and the partner, or from you and that life. It's like you assume that you're already it, it's already yours. And that's a power. And it took me a while to actually understand it and live in that state. Because, you know, understanding something in your brain and actually doing it are two very different things. So I need to first understand it and try and practice. And then on one point, I finally did it. I got into the state. And I started living in this state of assumption. And when you're there, you can not even describe how it feels because it's not something theoretically, it's something that you actually experience and do. It's almost like if, you, if your kid asks you like, what is love? And then you try to explain the kid what is love. You can, but they don't know what it is until they experience it, right? And that's the same with law of assumption. So here are three things that I wanna give you so you can implement and become actually like a master in the law of assumption and actually live as if you're already in there, right? Not like try to understand it, if that makes sense. And there's actually a great quote from Neville. The quote from Neville that really inspired me is like, the man who can at will get into whatever state he pleases has found the keys to, to the kingdom of heaven. Very inspiring quote and it's really true. It's like you have full control over your mind. If you practice to control your mind and actually you know, live in the state as if you already have what you want. This is when everything comes. But we learn, we kind of, we are brainwashed to always think that our goals are out there, whatever we want, right? We see it always out there and we are here and we need to get there. But as, lang as long as you're in the state of it's out, it's there and I'm here and I have to get there, you will constantly stay in the space of I need to get there. And that's a big difference because when you're starting assuming that you are already there, first of all, like so much pressure goes away from you, so much stress, pressure, you're more relaxed, you're more at ease, you feel better, you're more joyful, everything is just like smoother and it just seems like everything starts to fall into place and that's exactly when you assume it's just, it, it all is, it's already here and it doesn't matter that it's not here, you won't notice anymore that you don't have the thing, you won't be doubtful or angry or worried about the stuff because every time you do that you're basically just confirming I don't have what I want you know I'm I want this reality but my reality is like this so that also means you have to speak as if you're already having the reality you want it's a short video if you want to know more about the law of assumption let me know I'm happy to talk more in detail and give you more knowledge on the law of assumption and other cool stuff and one thing before we go if you want to do this you have to vividly imagine your future and you, you, if you do this long enough, you will start living in the future and it literally feels like you're already there. And that's when you, that's when you make the switch. That's how the switch happened for me. And the visualization that I did was very simple. It's just like every day I saw myself already being in this vision that I want. And I do a lot of like vision boards. I know I told you in many videos that I, that this never worked for me and it hasn't because 
It's just like one small puzzle piece, but it's not going to do any harm. It's actually exciting and inspiring, right? But you need all the puzzle pieces need to fit together in order for the law of attraction or the law of assumption to work. So hope that helps, guys. If you want to connect with me more and with other like-minded people in the manifestation space, I have a free group called Manifest Your Dreams. The link is below. Click on it and let's connect there. Peace.